Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa Peterson and today we will be going over the Easy Navigator pre-auction tutorial. To begin, by looking at the Easy Navigator you can see that it is broken up into four different sections. The Active Auction section allows you to select the auction that you'd like to work on or create a new auction. The Pre-Auction section allows you to add consigners, set up your auction, add lots, and upload your auction to the high bid online bidding platform. Auction Day allows you to check in customers, clerk the auction, check out bidders, or download your bid and bidder information from the high bid online bidding platform. The Post Auction section allows you to print tax reports, receipt reports, pay your consigners, and get an overall auction summary. Today, we will be focusing solely on the pre-auction section. For auction day and post-auction tutorials, please visit the video section on auctionflex.com. The first thing we're going to be looking at in the pre-auction section is the customer center. Within the customer center, all of your bidder and consigner information is located. At any point, you can come into this screen and use the quick search options to find your customer and locate their information. Majority of the time, the quick search option you'll be using is by name. It will take partial names, so my last name is Peterson. I'm just going to enter in Peter and then click OK, and it actually found my information. Now, once the customer is highlighted, you'll see that it'll give you quick information, quick contact information for that customer. If you need to get additional information or you want to edit that information, click Edit Customer Record. This will actually bring up the customer, customer maintenance screen, which will show you all of the customer's contact information as well as their consigner information their mailing list information, buyer history, and consigner history. Once you have the information you need, you can click the Exit This Form button on the bottom right to close the screen. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and add in a couple consigners. So we're going to go with the very top of the screen and click New Customer. And then we're going to just enter in some basic information. We're going to go ahead and enter in our company name, first and last name, and then our mailing address. A quick little shortcut right for you right here is if you enter in a zip code that's already been used in the system in this box and then click tab, it'll actually fill in the city and state for you. And then you can enter in the email address and phone number. And then for this consigner, we're going to go ahead and change the commission rate. So we're going to click on the consigner button on the left hand side. Right now it's using the default commission rate, but I'm going to set a specific and we're going to set it to a specific flat 10%. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this customer code at the very top. This is the code that you'll be using when you're clerking on the fly. So we're going to go ahead and change that to something we can easier remember. And I'm just going to use the first and the last name of this consigner. Now this code can be anything that you want. It can be letters and numbers or just letters or just numbers. Again, whatever you'd like it to be. Once you have all this information filled out, go ahead and close the door on the bottom right to exit the form. The next thing we're going to be looking at is auction setup. We're actually going to go ahead and create a new auction before we go into auction setup. So we're going to click the select slash new button and then the new auction button. We're going to give our new auction a name, which is going to be sample auction number two. And then we're going to verify that the, auction, the start date is correct, which we're going to change, and that the end date is correct, which again will change. Once this information is correct, click Create New Auction. This will bring us directly into the auction setup screen. Now within the screen, there are several different options and settings. The first setting we're going to be looking at is the Auto Number Big Card setting. When this setting is unchecked, the system will prompt you for the big card number you just gave the customer you were checking in. When this is checked, the system will automatically give the next available bid card number to that bidder, and this will also allow you to print the bid cards directly out of the AuctionFlex program. The next main setting we're going to be looking at is the BP and tax settings. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and change our buyer's premium to 20% and our tax rate to 5%. The next setting we're going to look at is going to be the commission setting. Now, before we were entering in their consigner, we gave them a specific consigner commission setting. Within the screen, you can set it to look at that commission setting, or you can set it to auction. What this will do is ignore those settings and then apply whatever commission settings you have down here. You can change this to, let's say, a flat 20%, or you can change it to sliding scale or incremental. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and leave it on a consigner commission setting. Once all of this information is correct, you can close the door on the bottom right to exit the form. 
The next screen we're going to be looking at is the Auction Lots and Preview Images screen. This is the screen where you will actually enter in your lots for a cataloged auction. So to do this, we're going to go into the Fast Entry screen, and then we're going to give our first lot a lot number, and then we're going to enter our source code. Our source code is that source code we changed for our consigner in just a few screens ago. When I enter in the consigner code, you can see that all of their contact information automatically enters. I'm going to enter in a very brief description of the item, and then I'm going to drag and drop an image directly onto that lot and then click Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter in the next slot. Again, dragging and dropping. And we're just going to enter in a few lots and then click Save. Once you have your lots entered into this screen, go ahead and close the screen and then you can see that your lots are entered directly into the auction lots and preview screen. Now at any point that you can double click on these lots to open up the detailed entry screen to edit them. You can edit the pre-sale estimates, the reserves, or the start bid. You can also do this in the fast entry screen. This is just another way to edit the lot as well. The next screen we're going to be looking at is the Upload Auction to Internet screen. Now this is the screen that you'll use once all of your lots are entered into the auction and you're ready to upload the auction to your high bid online bidding platform. There's several different options in here. There's auction information, dates, notices, terms, but BP, payment, shipping, and location. These are basically just informational tabs that will show on your online auction. Your registration, will you can change to bidder record only, which is basic contact information. Bidder verification, what this does is when the bidder enters in their credit card information, we verify the information, but this information is not provided to you. The bidder authentication is where the bidder will enter in credit card information, and once it's verified and the auction is over, the information will actually be provided to you for processing. The next setting is bidding. Right now it's set to no internet bidding, but we can change this to absentee, internet only, or webcast. And each additional tab that you click will have different settings related to whatever auction type you chose. Stagger is related to specifically to online and absentee bidding. You can set the stagger by auction or by lot. Soft close is where the auction will automatically get pushed out if a bidder bids at the last minute and you can change that to however many minutes you'd like. Other sites will allow you to upload to other auction platforms. Miscellaneous is some additional settings. Most of these settings are never used and then post auction is when you want to upload your prices realized and setting those options. Once you have these settings set, go ahead and click upload this auction and it will go to your private labeled high bid online bidding platform. Now that was a quick now tutorial a quick of the pre-auction section of the Easy, Easy Navigator. Navigator. For more tutorial videos, please visit auctionflex.com.